I'm Arlen from PowerDesigns.ca. One of the things we wanted to do is bring a full open source motor controller to market. The one I developed for the CRX originally, the software was not open source. It's an amazing software, really good controller, um, but we, I, I really believe, we all believe we want the software to be open source as well. We need to help push the transition to electric vehicles to happen faster. Um, both for environmental reasons and other reasons involved. Um, and we just truly love it. Like it's an amazing industry to be in. It's a, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of, it's very challenging and it's a, it's a really good industry. Aside from that, the open source code was one of the reasons I got into, um, we decided you know, Axiom here would be a really good platform to bring to market. Um, that's what you see here on the bench is an Axiom three phase motor controller. That's uh, the other main thing was working together. When I developed my motor controller that I did for the CRX originally, um, there's a lot of work done on my own and it's hard to catch everything and do everything to the best of your ability because you're trying to stretch yourself so thin. You're building a car, you're mounting a motor, you're testing different tires, you're trying to you know do all these things, trying to build a battery pack, you're trying to set it all up to be safe you're trying to do all these things and it's a lot of work so working as a team of four we're able to develop a better product it has better noise filtering uh, just a, a better circuit layout and we think it might be a little more power dense it probably doesn't have the same peak power but it, it's definitely very power dense we think this will do around 100 to 120 kilowatts continuous um, that's with good cooling. As you can see, it's sitting on a cold plate, which is a um, liquid cooled plate below all three IGBTs. Uh, it's a, a set of three IGBT duals, so basically it has a high and low in each IGBT. For those of you who don't understand, the three phase motor controller takes the DC voltage out of the battery pack and turns it into three phase AC, controls the, the torque at the motor, and it controls the speed of the motor monitors everything from overcurrents to over temperature, high low temperatures, bat and it's gonna even communicate over CAN bus. Another big benefit of Axiom is it can communicate with another Axiom for traction control and all kinds of other neat things, torque vectoring in the future, stuff like that. Some really good stuff for electric vehicle stuff. Um, have a little surprise later on about that. So nonetheless, <coughs> Let's quickly go through a couple of settings we gotta do here to get a motor running and then we'll just try it out quickly. So then we'll go into the settings here. You wanna do what's called a resistance and inductance measurement. I'll just go through some of the basic settings. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here you gotta go through, general settings. You set up your, your maximum currents, your voltages, your min, max, RPMs, wattage, all that stuff. You gotta go through all these settings and go down the list. Um, we're going to run in an FOC, field orientated control, and we're going to run it sensorless. This is going to start up sensorless. It starts beautiful. Um, so we'll go through the settings and see what happens. It's going to make some noise right now. That noise you just heard was actually the three phase motor controller sending pulses of current through the motor to measure how fast the current rises in the motor. Once it gets that data, it enters it in here. So the next setting is it's going to spin the motor up and measure the flux, flux linkage. It's going to actually get an idea at what speed, what kind of um, current voltage ramping it has. So basically it'll go through here, it'll spin it up here in a second. Here it goes. It's going to just spin at a fairly low speed. <coughs> so now you go in here and you click apply. That applies those motor configurations. Then we want to click this, which is write motor configuration. That's going to write it to the ECU so it remembers. Then we can go down here and we can actually do a really cool thing. We can monitor real-time data by clicking this button. I already have it applied. Then we're going to go to sample data and we're actually going to do a trigger at motor startup. Uh, we'll probably do something like this. We'll set up like that. By clicking that button, it should do it. Now we're going to Start it sensorless with 20 phase amps. And there it goes. Starts right up. It gives you a good little screen capture there. Looks amazing. 